making my beautiful butting bakers. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, cause we are run. Recipe number 94. We are doing some delicious, scrumdiddlyumptious, beautiful morning breakfast bread. What are we doing? We're doing Granny's Guinness Treacle Bread. It is divine. Decided I'd give you my Granny's favorite recipe. Because I'm like that, I'm very kind on a Sunday morning. But before I begin, I am giving a shout out to a very special lady. Very special lady, who between four and five in Kinsale, who's living and residing in number one Gardwell, is having a 90th birthday celebration. Mary O'Sullivan, happy birthday. Or she's also known as Mary Ryan, whatever way you know her, wish her a happy 90th birthday. So what a gorgeous idea, they're doing a drive-by. She's going to be fantastic on her scooter. And there's a drive-by birthday wish from four to five, literally outside her door, number one guardwell, which is opposite the Red Cross in Kinsale. Mary O'Sullivan, 90 years young today. Happy birthday and hugs and kisses from everyone at headquarters in a touch of magic. So don't forget, 90th birthday for Mary O'Sullivan. Fabuloso. So today we are doing my super granny's Guinness treacle bread. Guinness treacle bread, mm, divine. So for breakfast this morning, I'm going to be having a lovely slice or two of my Guinness bread. So to begin with, we have put 454 grams of brown flour. It's not coarse brown flour, so just have a look. If it is very coarse, you can blitz it in your food processor, but this is a lovely, gorgeous, Middleton brown flour, because that seems to be the only one I can get anyway, and it is lovely to work with. So I have my flour. I've got two teaspoons, in it goes, of bread soda. Now bread soda is really powerful. It's three times the strength of your baking powder. So you're going to have the most delectable divine bread. We have got 60 grams of beautiful Irish salted butter. That has come from the fridge, and all I'm gonna do Show me the money, show me the money, show me the way that I go home. Bum, 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 bum. That's normally the song you would sing after copious bottles and pints of Guinness. But today, we're not drinking our Guinness, we are eating our Guinness. I'm incorporating, incorporating, butter, that's B-U-T-T-A, butter, into our gorgeous brown flour. So again, show me the money. All I want to do is completely incorporate this beautiful butter into my flour mix. Into the flour mix, I am adding 30 grams of oatmeal. So in goes oatmeal. If you decide you want to put in 30 grams of pinhead, you could put that in. It's a little bit coarser. And lads, this is a divine, divine bread in our house. When our kids were little, we had a fabulous song for brown bread. This is going to stay like a music worm in your head today. Brown bread is good for you. Have a slice, it makes you poo. So listen, lads. Brown bread is good for you. Have a slice, it makes you poo. If you're not regular, have two or three slices of this bread. And you'll be sorted out for the day. So we have got our butter blended into our flour. We this really should have a head toward in coming with this brown bread. We are putting in 30 grams of oats in oats. I'll go 30 grams of oats. I have got also 30 grams. I like the little sweetness because of the bitterness with the um Guinness. So in goes my brown sugar. I think I'm still going to go in with my hand. I don't want any lumps and bumps. So I want to blend this sugar. And the next thing I have, 100 grams of black treacle. Now, one of the tricks to get treacle out of a pot into another pot is you have a choice. You can get your tablespoon and you can dip it into hot water and then transfer it into your treacle and put it into your container. Or you can even slightly grease the spoon into your container. Or you can grease the rim, which I did, of my treacle pot and I poured out my required 100 grams. To make it that little bit easier as well, I have got 330 mils of 
Guinness, which is a small can. So what I'm going to do first is just to loosen up the treacle, I am pouring the Guinness. Stir, stir, stir. And you can always even nuke your um, molasses, your dark treacle in the microwave for about 20 seconds, even slightly warming it will make it that little bit easier coming out of the pot. So again, all I'm doing is just loosening up the treacle and in it goes, in it goes. This is where I would not lick the spoon, but I will get every last bit of the treacle off the fork and out of the container. Scrape, scrape, scrape every last bit and continue to pour the whole lot of the Guinness into the flour mix. It is good, clean as you go. Sunday morning wouldn't be the same without a clean as you go. And all I'm doing is I'm giving a good old stir. So you can see this is a fantastic recipe. Preferably keep it in the bowl, but it's a great recipe for kids. Because again, not that there's Guinness involved, but it's because you throw it all into a bowl. Give it a good old stir, Rooney, and mix, mix, mix. So I want to make sure all that flour and porridge and treacle is incorporated. And you just have da, 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 da. two pound loaf tin. And as you can see, heavily greased. I do not put any liners. Why would you put in a liner in a tin? Don't put any liners in the tin, for goodness sake. This is brown bread, granny bread. So this is our granny Guinness treacle bread. And as you can see, how easy it is. I will take that little bit off the low tin because I don't want it to burn. So take off anything that comes on the side of the tin. You don't want it burning. And just using your spatula to do a bit of a there, there, there. Making sure it's evenly spaced. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. And we have got our Guinness treacle bed made in minutes on a Sunday morning. So if everybody else is snoring and if you have a can of Guinness handy, you never know. Not that anyone would be drinking during a pandemic. <laughs> Who would be drinking during a pandemic? But the Guinness is absolutely beautiful. It gives that lovely earthy, warm, slight bitter, but just divine in brown bread. So it matches beautifully with our brown flour and Guinness. So this will go in 190 in our oven for 45 to 50 minutes. So one of the things to check with bread, and I would actually take out the bread that I have, is to check the base of your bread. And if it sounds hollow by tapping it, your bread is done. So check it at 45 minutes. And it needs another five minutes, put it in for another five minutes, it'll be done in 50 minutes. So in this goes, into my oven. My hands a bit of a wipe because it's covered in dust in color. Clear the next. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Now, this worked out. Let's. I certainly got a hammering. I'm going to give another shout out. Dona, my beautiful Dona, Dona Fitzpatrick of Abbeywood. This is what Donald created. You can't see it, but I will take up photographs later. It's my island, my beautiful, beautiful island. I have a marble worktop, which is amazing for my pastry and for my chocolate. I said, never thought of Donald for a shout out. So I'm giving Donald a shout out of Abbeywood, the most amazing kitchens. Check out Abbeywood. And this is where we have our bread. So turning over your bread, you'd know me. Hello. Hello. That's how you, you've got the lovely hello, 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 hello in your bread. I should really bless it. Before I cut it, my granny always blessed it. She always blessed it before she had a slice. And then, oh. is 
got a brown bread and a half. You can see the steam wafting up. I will have that slathered with butter and marmalade. It is divine with a dunking egg and soldiers. This morning we have done Granny's Guinness treacle bread. Who knows what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but I shall see you tomorrow at 10.